you liked the video, it will be my honor if you can like, subscribe, and hit the notification button. And there are a lot more figure diorama photography as well as figure height comparison at the end of this video. So please watch and enjoy until the end. Now let's begin. Hello everyone, how's everybody doing today? And today we are going to be reviewing Figma 468 Gilgamesh from Fate series. And yep, I love Gilgamesh. She is an awesome character and this is a big box. Uh, how big the box is? Let's bring out a regular typical Figma box. And as you can see, he's much taller. He's much wider. And I think the side is roughly the same. But overall, it is a big box. But I'm not too sure why the box is so big. Not like he's come with a throne or something. But as you can see, here he is. The side. We see this awesome king on the back. We see the promotional image. And that is a nice face sculpt. I like it. And the side, as you all, a great king top and the bottoms are the same and let's open the box max factory guys this box is uh, ridiculously huge for no reason like look at the empty space right here there's absolutely nothing in here it is it is absolutely ridiculous having a such a big box let me grab you, you can have everything all, all this wasted space inside a regular box like god this well hasbro sucks you know they do the same thing they add so much empty space a lot of western uh company does the same but yeah if you guys were wondering what that big box was nothing <laughs> absolutely nothing so here is gilgamesh and yes what do you guys think he is a very interesting design um i wasn't too fond with the design he's a a withered virgin or sorcerer virgin and uh well what i kind of didn't like is like his feather here i didn't understand what that feather meant i gilgamesh come with a lot of legend so i, I assume that has something to do with his legend but i know him was a uh, more of a, a lion um because well he did have lion you know around him so if it's a lion i understand but i'm not too sure what the wing um if you guys know what this wing represent please <laughs> if you can comment that'll be fantastic but yeah let's look at uh, his his sculpt and details and yeah that is gilgamesh look at that face that is our king and i think he is a legendary character. I think he is one of the best character ever uh, made. And this is the wiser version of the Gilgamesh. Um, the difference between his archer version right here, when he was younger, uh, more, more, a little more rash, and this is the more, you know, uh, wider version. So that's well, I, I read that in in some kind of. Um, character explanation so that's why he's more humble than the one here but anyhow he's slightly taller than the archer version not not because of his i don't know what that is turban not, not a turban because it's, it's the top part's open but and not like his ankle is raised but um this one is definitely definitely taller than the archer but they get summoned in a different way so that's fine and let's appreciate his design man and and uh, i was wondering how they would be you know sculpting the leg because it's a, such a baggy pants and yeah i think they sculpted it really nice they need to add the articulation so you know you have to do a cut but they done it in a way that you won't be exposing the joint too much by you know cutting it this way so i think it was a very very um smart way that they they cut the the joint area but she is almost exposed like it's like did you need to show your like 
foot right here or leg out here like he's if you remove this this cloth you're you're, you're literally naked <laughs> Like what? What is that? Like what? What is that? It's like what, what? Like what? What is this? <laughs> but anyhow, I love the design. It was so funny. But anyhow, let's uh, see his articulation. His head tilts that much, almost none, almost none. Yeah, his head does go that around that much, so that's decent enough. And he looks down. He looks well. He doesn't look up due to the day. Um, this little I don't know what this is uh, oh, okay it does articulate um, what is that <laughs> what is this thing I have no idea what this thing is like it reminds me of one of the the back carry of a Gundam but <laughs> anyway, if I increase if I do that it doesn't he still doesn't look up so I, I don't understand why they even added an articulation on this <laughs> but that's okay his uh, um, well, headband or whatever would it is articulated with a ball joint, yeah, so it moves around. I love the blue they used, it's very bright. Um, oh, wait a minute, does that come off? <gasps> it does come off, looks kind of weird, but then you can see the detail here better. So, anyhow. For those who are wondering, <laughs> his arm goes up that much, actually way more because there's nothing getting in the way. It goes in that much, goes back that much, and mm, not so much on the elbows, 360 on the wrist, it goes up that much, actually not so, oh, actually that's not bad. But not much on the, the top. Okay, and let's see his crunch. And I don't think there's like much crunch on his on his uh, hip. Actually, there is no crunch on his hip. But his chest does have a slight crunch. Actually, yeah, that's about it. Nothing much at all. And yeah, it goes around that much. Nice ab, but. Now, comparing to the other Gilgamesh, the other Archer Gilgamesh is much muscular. Hmm. Even the, even the, um, yeah, very different. Like, the Archer is like built. But the Wither is very soft. Now, then let's see his leg. Uh, it does split better than I saw it. And open that much. Now for your you ladies, just for you. Here you go. No, there's nothing hidden beneath it. So yeah, that's all. Oh, Gilgamesh is pissed. Sorry about that. Knee joint goes that much, like almost to none. And yeah, his ankle does articulate quite good. And even with his ridiculous shoe design. I think there is an articulation. Yeah, up that much and down that much. Nice. And he's a very bottom heavy, as you can see. So usually bottom heavy is good, but not for him because if he's bottom heavy on his foot, that's okay. But he's the weight is slightly above, so he does fall if you don't make him stand. Uh, well, well. Sorry, my English. And he comes with three face sculpt. One is looking down at you or slightly amazed, or, or he's like amused in a bad way. <laughs> Very Gilgamesh. And he also has the yelling face and his humble smile face. Now, Gilgamesh also comes with total of four pair of hand, typical. So he has, uh, how should I look at it? He has two open hands. There you go. Um, weapon holding hands. And 
Well, I think this is supposed to be more like a on the throne hand. And he should have came with a throne with that big box. It's like it's such a big box guy. Like, what was that? Uh, the point of that big box? The only thing that's big was this axe. I don't know why you're gonna call this. It's quite significantly big, but and then it comes with a book. But you could have all hide just behind him like so, and you know, offer us a smaller box because we collector don't like big box unless there's a good reason for it. Because it's gonna take some shelf space. Now we, you do get a, a base that can articulate with his magical book, like the Black Magician Girl from Yu-Gi-Oh. So it pops like like that. There's nothing written inside. There you go. So for those who are wondering, bef before I like to do some experiment with this guy, let me change his face yeah very very nice and if this was the the Gilgamesh that Saber met then I think Saber would have well you know he, she would have saw him very different I love this face it's nice so if I have Saber, <laughs> she's so short. Oh my god, that is. I well, he's very tall, even comparing to the archer. So, yeah, he's a very tall figure. But now let's do some experiments. So, can I swap the face? Well, I don't think you just swap with this one, but swap a face from. The archer Gilgamesh to the sorcerer Gilgamesh and before I do that I have to warn the earpiece design is different but well the eye color is the same so yeah so let's see if we can do that actually this one snapped in really easy like I think the peg hold is slightly bigger that means that if I try to swap this face to the archer it might not go in because the pig hole, hole could be a little smaller but I'll try that hey 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 yeah I think it works I think it works really nice if you can ignore the the design for his um, that earring then I think it works brilliant now let's swap with this cocky ass virgin Gilgamesh okay it's not going in I have to drill and make it bigger to have him in but yeah come on Max Factory you know collector would have done that so I hope they would have had the same peg hole and the peg size so we could have had more more fun but yeah you can't swap it you have to drill the the new one um, to open enlarge the the peg hole or else it's not gonna fit the bummer but then we have this guy right here now if I okay, I'm gonna remove his body joint outside damn okay so I was thinking to swap the body and put this body in but then the peg are completely different so I can't do that sorry guys I was hoping to entertain you guys a little more there we go just yeah I couldn't swap it sorry forgive me I'm gonna just give you some sexy pose right here here <laughs> forgive me but yeah uh, I couldn't swap it if he could have come on you know Max Factory, we wanted to have more fun. <laughs> we could have had more fun. Why well, do you have to make it difficult for us to ha have fun? But yeah, this figure, what do I think about it? It's a nice figure. Um, nothing wow, nothing you know surprising, nothing too uh, extreme. It's overall, I think, it's a good figure for a collection. But 
doesn't come with much. If you're wondering, I have Fujimaru Ritsuka right here. And I think that the, it, it's a proper height difference. <laughs> Mash is so small, so cute. But yeah, it's funny. I, I thought Gilgamesh is way taller. Like, way, way taller. So maybe, yeah, Ritsuka is too tall. I, I kind of mentioned that in my, in my review with him because when I had her beside uh, Fujimaru, he looked a bit too tall. And I think he is a little too tall because I thought Gilgamesh is way taller. But yeah, like in the in the in the show he died and then he came back as the archer. So I'm like, wait a minute, did that mean that Gilgamesh could die as much as you like and come back as much as you like? Did that mean that he didn't need to sacrifice all his servants. He could have just, you know, continue, continue kind of thing. I'm quite sure he can, and I'm quite sure I'm missing something. I'm very sure of that. But yeah, that was um, like when he returned, I was like not expecting it. And then everybody returned. <laughs> Marling and you know, everybody returned. So I'm like, wait a minute, what's going on? So yeah, if somebody knows better, and I'm quite sure there's a lot of fate fan. So if you guys can let me know what the hell was happening in the very end, I really didn't get what was going on. Um, if you guys can let me know, this poor soul, that'd be fantastic. But yeah, um, that's about the review. It's nice having him. Nothing too amazing, nothing too great. Fantastic sculpting. Uh, very Gilgamesh-like. One thing, um, he's a king. So he was sitting down most of the time. You can't expect too much articulation action with him but at the same time due to his poor articulation especially on his leg he can't even sit down so yeah if you have a strone to you know put him sit down you kind of can't so yeah he's a very statue he's he's literally a statue you, you can't do much with him yeah so mm, figma I understand, but I hope you guys could have done a little more to made it a little more entertaining with this figure. But anyhow, overall, if you like the character, yeah, go ahead and buy it. If you don't like the character, eh, yes, you can skip on him. But yeah, it was a it was a fun figure, and I will start taking some photos. See you all soon. Thank you very much for watching my figure unboxing photography review. If you liked the video, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification button. Currently, there are only 6% of my audience who are subscribed, and I feel a little bit lonely here, so your subscription will give me inspiration to go on further. Thank you again, and see you all soon. Ah, so